I started listening. I like my daughter has celiac, so I started listening to you back in October 2011. And 2011. That, I had gone, yeah 2011. Wow. And I had and I had gone to the um, Chulis Hospital down in San Diego, and they were, you know, those medical priests were just going crazy, and I they wanted to give her biopsy. She was two years old. I she was three. My daughter. She was what? Excuse me. She was three. You said. Yeah, and they she want... was three. They, and they're like, well, we think it's silly, blah, blah, blah. We're going to give her a biopsy. So I'm like, you know what? You're crazy. So I took my daughter <laughs> with my wife. We took us off. By dumb luck, as Joel Wallach talks about, I came across InfoWars. The last five minutes of, your, of this show, you were on there. And within 30 seconds, you opened your mouth and said, the body can heal itself and overcome things like celiac. I'm like, what the heck? So I, like, jumped out of my seat in the office. This is crazy. Either this guy's lying or he's on something that nobody knows. So I started listening to your show, Bright Side Band, instantly bought the BTT, instantly applied everything you talked about to my entire family. Within a fifth of the BTT, my daughter's celiac went away. Wow. That's awesome, and she, and she doesn't have it anymore. I mean, we give her BTT. I started That's to help awesome. her start back. I That's did a awesome. food diet, and all our friends are like, Wow, you guys are really healthy. What is that you guys do? <laughs> hey, man, I, I listen to Brightside Band, go to this site. I apply everything he learns, blah, blah, blah. I do the Healthy Star Pack. I got the CEO Pack. I started selling, pushing longevity products. And then they're like, yeah, um, yeah, that's cool. You know, we'll, we'll keep eating unhealthy and, you know, because we love being sick, you know. <laughs> Like, that, you, you know, gotta apply, you know? I know, you know, I know, I know what you're talking about. Well, that's some good news, though. I appreciate you sharing that, Graziano. So, Thanks so yeah, much so for I calling on me. Every, yeah, I appreciate everything you do. So keep up the good work, man. Thank you, bro. Be good. Have a good weekend, man. We'll, we'll right, talk again too. soon. Okay. Wow, that's kind of cool. All right, Dustin in Ohio. Welcome to the bright side. What's up, bro? Oh, not oh. much. A friend of mine told me about you, and I figured okay. I'd take a listen and give you a First call. day? All right, first day you're listening? Oh, wow. Okay, good. I'm glad you called. What's up, man? Uh, well, uh, starting last November, I uh, had a fever. Ran it for a month and a half. Um, it went away you for had a, a while. You had a fever for a month and a half? Yes, it ran at about 103. Wow, for a month um, and a half? Yeah. How old are you, Dustin? I am 35. I was 34 last November. So what else is going on? You, you have to have something else going on. It's not just a fever. Yeah. Um, well, it went away till about June of 2015, and it came back for, you know, on and off for about a month and a half again. It went away for the month of July, came back in August every other week, and then now for the last month and one week, I've steadily been running low-grade fevers. And now, when you say low-grade, like 100 and th- you're saying low-grade, but 103 is not a low-grade. Well, yeah, the 103 was in November. Um, but more recently, it stayed low grade. I haven't gone over a hundred point nine. Okay, that's um, low grade. And no, yes. Okay, so here's what you're going to need to do. First of all, and this is you should start doing this right away. When you run a low grade fever, you're running hot. You're burning through nutrients. Your body, your metabolism's revved up, and that means you're burning through your electrical nutrients, your water soluble nutrients, etc. So what you need to be doing is number one, re, well, number one, you need to be drinking water. All right, lots of it. But okay. not just drinking water, you've got to make sure you're getting your water-soluble nutrients with your water. Get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and I would be doing it sooner rather. I'd be doing it today, especially if you've had this condition going on for as long as you say you've had it. You are very likely running into nutritional deficiencies, and that's going to exacerbate your symptomology. Aside from the cause of whatever the cause is, above and beyond that, you're going to have secondary nutritional deficiencies. Does that make sense? You're running into secondary nutritional deficiencies that are going to make matters worse, and you could end up in this vicious downward spiral. You need the B vitamins, vitamin C, and your electrolytes today. Now, you're going to have to order the BTT if you're not on it already, but what you can do is go to your grocery store and go get some veggies and start making veggie juices, and those will be, get you some electrolytes, which you probably need right away. And I'd probably be using some vitamin C right away, too. So until you get your BTT, you might want to go to the health food store or the, wherever you get your, your nutrients and go get some vitamin C. That's just to, that's just to, to stem the, the tide of, of, uh, of nutrient loss that's following the fever. But let's get to the fever. That's kind of concerning. There's a lot of reasons why you can run into these, they call them FUOs, fever of unknown yep. origin. Did I tell you that, FUOs? Uh, they didn't. That? I figured all that out on my own. On my own. Okay. Well, good <laughs> for you. Doctors haven't been able to tell me anything. Okay. Well, here's the main reasons. 
You can have an infection somewhere, a bacterial infection. All right. We ruled but, that out. Okay. Now, how do you how did you rule that out? Just a blood test? Uh, yeah, I've had multiple multiple blood tests. Okay. So I'm still you know we'll we'll rule that out for now, but I don't know necessarily that I would if we really want to get to the bottom of things. But just in the interest of time, uh, we'll rule out infection. God forbid it could be a malignancy of some kind. It could be a cancer of some kind, but you would have other symptoms and you don't have any of those. I assume. Do you have anything else going on with your digestive system or blood pressure? You're dizzy when you wake up in the morning or blood sugar or weight gain issues um, and weight loss issues? Yeah, you got to find uh, those. It started, it started, I lost probably 20 to 25 pounds uh, with, starting in with, June 2014. And because I generally I weighed 145 to 135 pounds. That was my how, average range. I how tall are you? How tall are you? 5'4". Okay, so you're 5'4", 125 now? Uh, five four one twenty now. Okay, is it one twenty lean and mean or one twenty skinny? Uh, Got muscle on you? Are you working out? Yeah. Are you doing any? No, you are not work working out, but I'm still toned. Okay, you're still toned. Okay, so we'll we'll rule out uh, we'll rule out any issues of, of, for the dramatic weight loss as long as you're still muscular and toned. It could also be some kind of a blood vessel disease. Sometimes that can do it, and it can also be some kind of uh, well, you said there's no, there's, no, there's no bacterial issue or viral issue, although I'm not convinced. It, those usually are the causes. What other symptoms do you have? That's the key. Now, uh, I don't expect you to answer that right away because you're going to have to search for it. But this is how you do it. This is how you handle the problem. This is for everybody listening. When you have some kind of mysterious issue, you have to put together a picture of symptomology. And I always give this, I, I love this analogy. It's like um, you're, you sound young and you're, well, you're only 35. You probably don't know who Bob Ross is. He was a painter who used to be on television and he would show you how easy it is. I when I was a kid. Then you know who I'm talking about, right? He yep. put a little dot in the middle of the painting and you couldn't tell what it was. But then he put a line and all of a sudden you had a river. And then another line, you got a mountain. You know what I'm talking about? And then another yeah. line, all of a sudden there's a, there's a horizon and there's trees. And just with little dots, you form a whole picture. Well, it's the same thing when you're trying to assess what's going on in the body. You need a bunch of dots. Right now, we only got one dot. You know what I'm saying? There's only, we only have the fever dot. We need to find multiple dots so that we can form a picture of what's happening in your body. The dots represent symptoms. So you got some homework to do, and I'm glad to help you with this when you, when you, uh, when you get some data. You've got to collect a bunch of dots, and that means maybe digestive issues, or maybe you're tired when you wake up in the morning, or maybe you're craving sugar or salt, or maybe, you, like I say, you feel dizzy or woozy when you get up, or, or when you stand, um, get in a, go into a standing position from a sitting position, etc. You gotta look for other symptoms. Right, on, right now, we only have one dot in the middle of our canvas, and there's no picture that we can get. So, if you want to do some homework, collect some dots, uh, and then we'll uh, connect the dots for you, and we'll get a picture, and we'll tell you what to do. You can either call us in the program, or you can send an email to Ben at ksco.com. Thanks, Dustin. Appreciate your call. That's all the time we have for today. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now.